Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to use Steam with a little less memory. And of course, if you cut back your memory, you're probably using a lot of extra CPU and GPU processor and graphics cards so we can actually tweak everything out. We're going to do this a little bit backwards, but here are my opinions. Click on Steam over here and you can click on Settings. Now, there's a bunch of stuff you can do here. Enable the Steam overlay while in the game. Maybe you don't use it. Use desktop game theater. Maybe you don't use it. Those are a couple of them you can look at. But I'm really more interested in the library section. I'm pretty happy with the interface the way it sits. Let's go to library. Here's the three I would look at. Low bandwidth mode. Go ahead and read that so you know what it's doing when you're in the library. Low performance mode. And this can be great for people whose computers are borderline, just can't afford to upgrade them and want to play their games. I've had a few people say, why would you bother? You're a gamer. Well, Steam has gamers of all levels, from hardcore all the way down to the people who want to play solitaire. So some people can use this. So just to get that out of the way. Disable community content. If you don't use the community content, friends list, stuff like that, you can disable it. And if you're not sure, you can do one, two, three. Do one at a time, see how you like it, see if it helps. Now, that's pretty much it. Broadcasting won't do you any good because if you're not broadcasting, you're not running it. Remote play, that's up to you. And really, that's about it. There's really not much else I'd play with, so I'd pretty much stick to library and, and these three. Now, how about we run Steam in mini mode? Let me show you that real quick. There's two ways you can do this. You can run it on a per case basis. And this basically simplifies it and gets rid of all the web browser stuff. So there goes, basically you're gonna lose your store. You're gonna lose community content, stuff like that. So let's take a quick look at it. It's actually a shortcut, meaning you can just Windows key plus R or you can create a shortcut. Now, another thing you could consider, you could probably just do the no browser if you want and try that. So you could actually leave this out as far as I know. I haven't tried that yet. Let's try it just for kicks. Whoops. What am I pressing here? We'll just keep plus R. So as you can see, make sure your Steam is where it says it is. That's the default. For example, I'm actually in C colon backslash Steam. So let's try it with no browser. And again, you can do that with a shortcut. So that works with a no browser. We're going to get it a lot more trimmed down by using this whole thing. Plus open Steam, mini games list. So we're just going to open a small window. And that small window is going to look just like that when we do it. So here you go. Now you've got the full screen, all right? But you don't have the library. You're not going to have a community or any of that stuff. So let's close it out once again. And let's show you the mini list. So you can see we were full screen when we did that. Now we're going to look like this. So let's do Windows key plus R. Control V. Once again, make sure your path is correct. There you go. While that's loading, we'll make a desktop shortcut. Same thing. Right click. New. Shortcut. Copy and paste in the path. And again, remember, as I just showed you, you can run it full screen by just stopping at no browser. You'll click next. It'll already say steam.exe, so you just go S-T-E-A-M. Maybe put a dash mini so you have, perhaps you already have a desktop shortcut, you'll be able to tell the two apart. And click finish. And there it is. So basically, you're just going to be able to play the games without any of the stuff going on in the background. And that is it. So now that you have your desktop shortcut, you can also run that. Not too tough to do. So again, decide what you want to do. I, I give you the options to go into the settings where you can pick the three things that you're pretty much disabling anyway. Or, heck, you could make two different shortcuts. You could actually do the program file Steam with no browser in it just by itself. You could make another shortcut for the mini game list and use the whole thing. So personally, I would probably use step one and a link to this article is over here where you see the eye 
you just click on that I click again and it'll take you to the article and by the time you get here the video will be embedded right here so you can actually follow along on the website seamlessly by jumping over if you need to there you have it and at the bottom as always we have some pretty good similar articles you might like how to disable steam pop-up and notifications hide your gameplay activity etc etc check those out as well while you're here all right you know the drill in the bottom right corner over here little major geeks logo pops up when you click on it a little subscribe button shows up right next to it if you'd like to subscribe click like if we helped you out feel free to leave a comment we'd like to hear from you as always and thanks for watching see ya